guys, well, if you're feeling overwhelmed because you have got all this leftover Halloween candy and it's starting to take over your life, like how my kitchen is looking, not to worry because I'm gonna show you how to make Lindsay's leftover Halloween candy bark. And the really great thing about this is you'll probably have all the ingredients you need already in the kitchen. So we're talking about leftover Halloween candy, of course. Also, parchment paper, cooking spray. I'm gonna spruce things up, use some trail mix, and also you'll need a bag of semi-sweet morsels. And if you want, optional, a chocolate topping, white chocolate topping. So step one, go ahead and take our parchment paper and line a couple of baking sheets with the paper. And then we're gonna tear open our candies and take off all the wrapping and chop them up into pieces that are less than an inch big. And a side note, it might be easier to chop up the candies if you stick them in the freezer for just a couple of seconds until they become easily choppable. And I'm using a pretty large butcher knife, as you can see, and these are all fun-sized candy bars, so I'm just chopping them up into fourths. Now, after we're finished chopping up our masterpiece, get your chocolate chips out and make sure you open them up and throw them in a bowl. Stick them in the microwave, 30 seconds intervals. And when you take your chips out of the oven, you're gonna wanna make sure you use a mitt because they're gonna be really hot and you don't wanna burn yourself. So take them out carefully and uh, take a look at this consistency of these chips. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna take our chocolate and go ahead and dump it on our lined parchment paper. We'll go ahead and take those chocolate pieces with clean hands, just spread them onto your fudge sheet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my trail mix into the mixture. Just gonna go ahead and sprinkle it on right on top of my chocolate candies. Once you're done adding all of your necessary toppings, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just pat down your creation. Last thing on the list, white chocolate. I melted it in the same way as I did the dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle it onto my mixture, creating kind of a drizzle topping on top. And so there it is right there, our end product. So just make sure you stick this in the fridge for about 30 minutes before serving to people. And that's it right there, what to do with your leftover Halloween candy, Halloween candy bark.